Very clear king. Mary Claire King is an American geneticist and professor of genome sciences and of medicine at the University of Washington. Mary Claire King was born in 1940 in Evanston, Illinois. She was born in 1940 in Evanston, Illinois. King began her undergraduate studies at Antioch College in Yellow Springs, Ohio, where she initially focused on mathematics. However, her interest soon shifted toward genetics, and she transferred to another institution to further her education in this field. She completed her Bachelor of Arts. She completed her Bachelor of Arts degree in Mathematics from Tallachan College in Northfield, that is Minnesota, in 1966. Very Claire King pursued a PhD in Genetics at the University of California, Berkeley, and her first doc fellowship, her first doctorate at the University of San Francisco from the year 1974 to 1976. She is best known for her pioneering work demonstrating the existence of the breast cancer gene. She is best known for her pioneering work demonstrating the existence of the BRCA1 and its linked to hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. That's the basic area of her research. That's the basic area of her study. In the 1970s, Mary Claire King began researching the genetic basis of breast cancer. The hypothesis that a gene could be responsible for inherited forms of the disease. The hypothesis that a gene could be responsible for inherited form of the disease. He postulated an hypothesis that there might be a gene that could be responsible for the inherited forms of breast and ovarian cancer. In 1990, he published a paper demonstrating the existence of the BRCA1 and its connection to breast and ovarian cancer risk. This was a major scientific breakthrough. This was a major scientific breakthrough that fed the way for genetic testing and personalized cancer treatment. Reflecting has received numerous honors and awards for her work, for her work in science and for her work in humanity.
including the Alaska Award, National Medal of Science, and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So she was awarded with so many honors. Her work did not go for waste. She was amongst those prominent individuals that represented with the National Medal of Science. Or particularly in the year 2016, she was the only scientist that was awarded with the National Medal of Science during the Obama's administration, during the administration of the former ex-president of the United States, Barack Obama. He was luckily to receive National Medal of Science and likewise the Alaska Award, that is the Alaska Koshland Award for Medical Research. So she was amongst the individuals that were selected by the government to receive his great honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom and the National Medal of Science are the greatest harness to be presented or to be received by a citizen in the United States. Mary Claire King remains active in human rights work particularly in identifying victims of human rights violations through DNA sequencing. Recently, he collaborated with the National Bank of Genetic Data in Argentina, which uses genetic information to help recover the identities of children who were appropriated during the country's military dictatorship. So she how to recover the identities of the children who her expertise, who her expertise with the DNA sequencing. We cover the identities of the children who were stolen during the Argentina's military dictatorship. But that's one of the consequences of a dictatorship. Many children will be stalling. Many parents have lost their children. That's one of the consequences. So with the help of Mary Claire King, many families in Argentina begin their happiness. This initiative builds on her previous work with the grandmothers of Plaza de Mayo who seek to find their missing children. That's one of her very important work to humanity. Mary Claire King is currently a professor at the University of Washington where she focuses on medical genetics, genome sciences, and cancer research. She continues her groundbreaking work in genetic causes of severe human disorders, including inherited breast and ovarian cancer, schizophrenia, and neurological disorders in children. She continues to conduct research and advocate for increased access to genetic testing and cancer prevention. Her research combines genomics, population genetics, molecular biology, and model organisms to advance understanding and treatment of these conditions. If you want to know more about the life and work of Rick Latin, you can refer to the following references, as I will mention. You can refer to the National Academy of Sciences. If you don't have chance or the means to visit her in the University of Washington, you can refer to National Academy of Sciences.
you would get full information about Harry Clarkin. You can also refer to the American Society of Human Genetics. You can also refer to American Philosophical Society. You can also refer to the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Spectacularly, you can refer to the National Academy of Medicine. And also there are some books that highlight the work and research of very lacking. Like the book which was authored by Florence Williams, the rest are two which was authored by Robert Basil and another book with the title The Genome Wu which was authored by James Shreve. <laughs> Mm-hmm.